to fool us where the impossible is always possible, especially with our next act. So this is how I used magic to make my family appear. I was at this party and I met this girl I wanted to impress. And I told her I'll help her find the love of her life. I asked her to take out her phone, open up the calculator and punch in the number of times she'd fallen in love. Multiply that by the number of times you've had your heart broken and the number of boyfriends you've had. Then multiply that by any random number that only you know. I told her these are the odds of you ever finding true love. But what if you call that number? She did, and my phone rang. We've been together ever since. And now we have a little baby, and he's my favorite thing in the whole world. So now I'm revisiting all my favorite baby games. We play peekaboo, of course, but also games of chance like rock, paper, scissors. And amazingly, he wins more than me. Which got me thinking, I can combine these things into some powerful magic. I can't fool my baby with tonight's trick, but maybe, just maybe, I can fool Penn and Teller. Here to take on Penn and Teller is Han! This evening, I'm going to influence you. I'm going to influence what you think, what you say, and what you do. Now, that happens to us every day. We all get influenced by other people. The trick is doing it without you noticing that you're being influenced. Pen. Now, for this experiment, I have sent you some uh, stuff across the Atlantic. Can you uh, open up that box, Pen? Oh, yeah. Oh, my. Okay, Pen. What do you see in there? I uh, see a uh, rock. Styrofoam. Okay, done. can you pick it up? Pick it up? Pick it up? Yeah, pick it up. I'll Try it. Pick it up. You're a big guy, you can pick it up. Good. A teller, is there anything else in there? Pick it up. It's rock, paper, scissors. Okay, just keep the scissor. Uh, Allison, take a look inside and uh, remove, well, you figure out it's paper. And sit down. And uh, can you remove the box? Throw it away. And uh, as you can see, we have rock, paper, scissors, that is called. Now, rock, paper, scissor, it is one of the oldest games known to mankind. It dates back to the Stone Age, when it was called rock, rock, and rock, usually ending up in a tie. <laughs> now, unfortunately, the game has evolved to rock, paper, scissors, and when we play this game in Norway, we always play best out of three. Now, today, I'm gonna take a huge risk, and I'm gonna get this right three out of three. And if I make one mistake, if I get one wrong, I'm gonna thank you humbly for your time and say goodbye. Okay. Now, for the first round, two of you are going to switch items. Now, I know exactly which two of you are going to do that switch, so I will write down the result in advance. And Alison, you're gonna get the first choice here. Which two of you is going to exchange items in the first round? I'm gonna trade with Penn. You're going to trade with pen, okay? Trade with pen. Ooh, that's heavier than I thought it would be. And my prediction says, Teller beats pen. Teller's scissors cuts pen's paper. Now for the second round, we're going to do it a bit more difficult because now you can make two switches. I know exactly which two switches you're going to make, so I'm going to write down the result in advance. And I'm going to ask you, Pam, which two of you should make the first switch? Um, Allison and I. Allison and you. Okay, switch with Allison. I just thought she was getting tired holding the rock. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> good idea. A teller can just point to two of you who should do the second switch. So you switch with Allison. And my prediction says. Allison beats Teller. Allison's scissors cuts Teller's paper. And Pen beats Allison. The hands rock crushes Allison's scissors. Wow. Thank you. <laughs> That's what I was hoping for. Now for the final round, this is the most difficult one because now you can make three switches. And now you can try to outsmart me. For example, Pen and Teller, if you do the first switch, for the second switch, you can switch back again. And for the third switch, well, you can do the same switch three times, or you can do two different switches, or you can do all three different switches. Whatever you think would be the hardest for me to anticipate. And Alison, not to put any pressure on you, but women who are considered very smart and very beautiful, they tend to choose scissors over rock in about 
65% of the times. Wow. Not trying to influence you in any way, of course, or am I? <laughs> but, Alison, which two of you should make the first switch? <sighs> Penn and Teller should switch. Penn and Teller do the first switch. And Penn, which two of you should make the second switch? I like having the rock. Me and Teller. Me and Teller. And uh, Teller, can you point to two of you who should do the last switch? <laughs> okay, switch with that, okay? Switch. Now exactly as I thought. And that is why there is nothing written on this notepad. Because I told you I was going to take a huge risk, and I did that a couple of weeks ago when I sent you those items. And today, I took another risk. The risk that none of you would have the idea to look down at that piece of paper that you have been passing amongst you. Because if you did, you could have done one switch differently and all my predictions would be wrong. Pan, you figure out what to do already. Open up and read just the first line. What does the first line say? Tell her, beats Allison. That's true. Pen, Pen beats Teller, which is true. And Allison beats Pen, which is true. Thank you very much. Wow! That's amazing! Hans! Thank you, Allison. That is so impressive. Were you like the most annoying person to play paper, rock, scissors with on the schoolyard? I was probably the richest one because we played for money. Oh, nice. Are there many magicians in Norway? Well, we're not many, but now we have a magic club. And last week I was elected uh, president. <gasps> it was kind of awkward, though, because uh, I got, since I got both of the votes, the other guy knew I would for myself. <laughs> okay, Hans, let's see if you won our game of rock, paper, trophy. Well, you certainly uh, blew our minds. Uh, we were just flabbergasted right away. It's, it's a beautiful trick. I have been, what has it been, like five years now, I've been bringing up to tell her I want to do a rock, paper, scissors trick. I love this so much. I love how simple it is, what a great game it is. I love the props being sent. I love the, the giant rock, the giant scissors, the giant paper. I, I loved everything about this. And you're just a great performer. The style was very clean, turning it around. I loved it, but I do not think you fooled us because the way this went seems inevitable. It seems like it's the only way it could go. This is the only punchline you could have. But as we know in magic, you can always make it look like what happened is what you wanted, even when it's not what you wanted. We think you didn't fool us because you were using multiple outs. You had a different way to make everything okay, no matter what we did. Is that right, Hans? Does that mean, for example, you think that uh, if something else happened, well, maybe something was written on the next yeah, page of the yeah, notepad? Yeah, something like that, a different page, or maybe there's some answer in, it, in the box or something like that. And this seems inevitable, and it really wasn't. The outcome is what you saw there, exactly the same each time. There are absolutely no multiple outcomes. So I would say just... Uh, Hans beats Penn. Hans beats Teller. Hans wins the game. Yay, Hans! You fooled him! We're going to come up and shake your hand. <laughs> oh, Just Hans. amazing. Yay! We have a flower! So beautiful. Yay! Oh, so awesome. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. This, except for getting a little baby, this is the biggest thing that happened to me. <laughs> So good. Uh, congratulations, Hans! <laughs> and we have a winner. Penn and Teller just added an act to their Vegas magic show. Is there room for one more on the bill? Find out when Fullis returns. Local rest.